Tonight's live debate on ABC7 was moderated by our very own Mark Brown, with questions being asked by our Carlos Granda, Josh Haskell, and Univision's Gabrielle Tessier. And businessman Rick Caruso, LA City Council members Joe, uh, Joe Buscaino and Kevin DeLeon, LA City Attorney Mike Fewer and Congresswoman Karen Bass sparring on a variety of topics, including crime, rising gas prices, poverty, public transit, and the lack of affordable housing. We can electrify our transportation system. That means more jobs. We can create more parks and plant more trees for canopy. That means more jobs. I want a Los Angeles where when you see electric vehicles driving down that street, you're not hearing, wait, wait, NPRs, wait, wait, don't tell me. You're hearing Los Tigres del Norte. And that's when we know that we've democratized the climate change benefit policies that actually has a positive impact on every Angelino. Rick, you're the only one on this stage that actually has the personal wealth and resources to build affordable housing. And as far as I know, I don't know that you have built any affordable housing. What I disparage is elected officials that don't produce results and things, Each get, one wor of us have produced and things results. get worse under their watch. That's, that's what concerns me. In terms of affordable housing, I've invested, along with my wife and family, tens of millions of dollars. When we talk about who's <laughs> criminalizing poverty, when we want to hold people accountable for their actions, if you abide by the law, then you will not get in trouble. We have a district attorney that's not prosecuting crimes, and that's sending a message to the disrespect. 45 seconds has expired. Disrespect Mr. on the ground level that if you commit a crime, Mr. Biscayno, nothing will happen. 45 Sorry, seconds is But I've ridden Metro many times. My daughter rides the Expo line all the time. What do we need? We need to have more safety and security to get people back after the pandemic on those lines. We do it by having more officers and non-uniformed mental health experts on those lines. We do it by making it cleaner to be on Metro. We cannot succeed as a society here unless we make that investment that we've taken in Mr. public transit and your, allow people to actually expired, want to feel Fuhr. comfortable on it again. All right, well, this debate is very timely. A reminder that the primary election is on June 7th.